Hi, my name is... <coughs> During my time here, I've been involved in the... the... It's been... No, I had three things for this. Hold on, what was the third thing? So exam season this year, I'm not finding it, but I'm on a mission to find it, and I'm going to bring structure to find it. So everyone just takes that into... into oh, my God. La, la, la. Mummy made me match my M&Ms. OK. Hi, my name is Courtney Daniela, and I study HSPS, and I am in my third year at Robinson College. My name is Dylan Ammon. I am a second-year land economist at St Catherine's College. I'm Lena Gustafsson, I'm from Sweden and I'm at Wolfson College doing PBS second year. Hi, my name is Timmy Sotir and I'm a second year at Girton College studying HSPS. Hi, my name is Rhys Actor, I'm a second year student at Gonville and Keys College and I study English Literature. Hi, my name is Sajina, I'm a third year lawyer studying at Fitzwilliam College. The last three years at Cambridge University have been tiring, exhausting, fun, but tiring and tiring. English literature is an interesting degree. It's very varied. There's a lot of traditional stuff, but there's also a lot of choice. So recently I've been looking at digital literature, which I didn't expect to find when I came here. So it's great. So apart from psychology this year, I'm doing sociology and I'm doing uh, biological anthropology, focusing on health and disease. So I know a little bit about monkeys and a little bit about psychology. So. Over the last three years, I've taken part in the Islamic Society and Bangnasok. We've done really interesting projects such as uh, Charity Week where we raised over 20k for charity. In my second year, I really enjoyed studying a paper in investment and finance because I feel like I've learned skills that I can use in the real world once I finish my degree. An example of when my workload was really tough was when I had two 5,000 word essays due this time last year and it was really hectic for me because it was due in my second term and I started reading in my second term and I had like 50,000 things to read. 50,000 words to write. It was just so, so hard. Um, but I got through it, it was character building. Yeah. So first year English literature doesn't actually have an exam term, which is why I haven't found the one this year. So in your first year, you have something called prelims, which are kind of introductory exams in your first week that are so unofficial that if you're ill, there's no one to tell because they're just that unofficial. Last year exam season was quite stressful because I had this idea in my head that the exam term is so long that I didn't have to work during the other terms and that I could just save everything for exam term, which was not a good idea. So I was just stressed out and I didn't, I had to do so much in so little time. So it was, it was quite intense last year. I find exam season really interesting because you kind of get to see how every individual adapts differently. Um, me personally, I've been really stressed this year, um, but I kind of, because my exams maybe aren't as important as my final year exams next year, I really want to kind of see if I can establish methods that are healthy and allow me to work to my most efficient level. Last year, exam season was really interesting and difficult because we had Ramadan coincide with exams, so we had to pray during the night, we had to not eat or drink during the day and it was just really difficult to try and organise our lives. But it was also really nice because all the Muslims came together and we'd pray together. The chaplain of our college let us use the church to pray in and everyone was just really accommodating and nice. So one thing I did during my exam season to relieve my stress was take regular naps and just rest. Um, I think it's so easy to do all-nighters and everyone's talking about going to the library at like 2am and just sitting there for hours but my body doesn't really respond well to that so taking time to adequately rest even when I feel like I haven't done enough work was really important to me. The two things that I really focus on to alleviate stress is firstly to exercise frequently and secondly to engage in mindfulness. A great mindfulness exercise is sitting in a chair twice a day. I choose to do it first thing in the morning and last thing before I sleep and basically kind of counting your breath. So you, you have to sit there for about 10 minutes and you put your hand on your chest and basically breathe in and out and you really kind of learn to focus on your breath and everything else on your mind kind of evaporates essentially. One thing that I do to relieve exam stress is I cook for myself. So I tend to get stressed quite easily during exam time but I really like cooking, cooking because it's a chance for me to take time off from working, focus on myself and what I'm doing in that given moment. And I also see it as quite constructive as well because 
we all have to eat. So whether I cook or not, I'm going to have to eat eventually. This year, to relieve stress during exams, we've got a safe space in our communal kitchen. So we put down things on the whiteboard that stress us out. And so when we're in the kitchen, people take care not to mention those things. So we have things on there like training contracts or exams or revision timetables. And we all just take care of each other and we put things on the communal table to share, so like chocolates, we just bring it for everyone and everyone just shares it. So one technique that I use during exam term to kind of learn everything is I try to conceptualize things and I make big mind maps that I put all over my walls and uh, because just memorizing things doesn't really work for me, I need to know how it all fits together and why do I know this, why do we learn this. Focus on yourself. We're all individuals and everyone has different habits, everyone has different motivations. All you can do is focus on what motivates you, what gets you going and how you work the best. And there's absolutely no point in looking at what other people are doing. If you only can work for three hours a day, work for three hours a day. Don't see others work in the library for 15 hours and feel like you're doing something wrong. One tip for exam term is you need to realise that you can't control exams and you can't control what comes up in exams. The only thing you control is how to best prepare yourself for whatever comes up. So really, when you get stressed, you're actually only stressed about yourself. And who can fix that? You. So you just need to do the work that you plan to do and do it well. Sustain that for a few weeks and it's over. So one thing I would advise you to do during exam season is to take care of yourself, rest, and even if you are feeling anxious, take a second to breathe and realise that you've got this. And how long were your naps for? Let's not talk about that. <laughs>